What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's Prophet Gaming 77 and we're back with another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. And we just retrieved um, John Marston's uh, son. And we're in the big city, man, so big things are about to happen. Let's get it cracking. All right, here we go. Good boy. Good boy, good boy. Let's check this map. So we'll do MB because he's close. And we got T. And we got a question mark. All right, let's do Mary Beth. Mary. Hey, baby. Okay. Shut up, nigga. It's me. It's me, man. Oh, I got the shoddy out. I will cook you, dog. Don't play with me. I will cook y'all. Where's the um stew at, man? I hear y'all making that stew. What's up with the stew, baby? Where's the stew, man? I will light you up. Where's that stew at, man? You got food? Good morning. Hey. Hi. Hiya. Stew is being prepared. What's up, Shawty? Oh, we. Hello, Mary Beth. How are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but mm -hmm. but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. <sighs> if you're a girl without means in this world, mm -hmm. life is very scary. Mm. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Mm. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Mm. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Yep. <laughs> long time ago now. Yep. What happened? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. <laughs> in these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mm. Mr. Morgan! What's Mr. Up? Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to oh. run. Come along! Foreman brothers? What are they doing well, here? Well, I don't such know a what G? they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Susan's a G. We need more guns. You and I can handle this, Arthur. Oh. All right, we're Where going. We I'll tell you on the way. Let's go, baby. Just get going. Love it. She's a G. I respect her for All that. Right. Head for Rose. She's quick. not playing. She's in Rose? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. Oh, we going. You know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. Mm. You told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. Mm. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Right. And now it is. Oh, yes. What are they yeah, with yeah, yeah. I think I saw one yeah. of the brothers hassling her in Valentine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They probably followed us down here. But right. you don't know what happened? She killed one of them for good reason. I'm gonna but kill one of them. Clearly, they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. Mm. But, like I say, she was defending herself. Okay. She fled and fell in with us right She fled there. and now she bled. I just hope we can get to her in time. We'll get to her. Not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl, oh, we head, blasting them. I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. Right, we're okay. gonna blast the ass. Don't worry, Grandma. Yep. Yeah. It's a Brizzy. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. I love this girl, man. We're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know I'm gonna surround his ass. Inducement of gentlemen such as yourself. Surround him. Mighty kind. Now get out of here. What? Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said. It. You said your last word. Yeah, nigga. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. Shut up. 
Let me loot his ass. Take what? I'm in. Get this shit open. Blackout. Hold up. What's in here? I want these cabinets, cuz. Take everything, man. Got coffee, got biscuits, got gravy. No, I don't want this gun. I want... Yo, bro, 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 bro. Bro. Whip out the shoddy. This gun is dry, bro. Yes, we are, ma'am. What's in here? Anything good? Gotta keep my gun out because it's. Oh, search drawer. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get her. We'll get her. Trust. Hold up. Well, me. Where the hell is she? Silly, what happened, girl? It's okay, Miss Tilly. You all right, baby girl? Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Sorry, sorry. I thought there was. What, what, did they rape you? What happened? Matter what you thought, it's okay. Did they assault you? Oh, come on, go on, go on, go on. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. I got. Well, they killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. I'm getting there. I'll be just fine. I know you now will, baby girl. Come on, let's go. Bring him back alive, huh? Get after them. I got you. Where does ass go? Where is he? Oh, he's over here. He's a little coward. Look at this coward. Bro, hold up. You got it. Move, nigga. <laughs> I even like your horse, man. Your horse sucks. So I'm gonna waste his energy. Killing your horse. You picked the wrong girl. Excuse me? Get your ass over here. I want the last word. I want to shoot him. But I got him. Get your ass off that horse. That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. Get up here. Are you going to tie him up then? He's tied up. Oh, hold up. Let me get off. No, he's not. Where are you going? Shut up, man. What? Whoa. Bro, why can I? There we go. Get your ass up. Head over there now to check she's okay. Get your With ass up. Pleasure. <laughs> I'll take his horse. Honk. He won't be needing it. No, he won't. I don't want his horse neither. Here. Stow him. Get your ass on my horse. Get your ass on my horse. Punk. Look at the floor for a bit. Punk horse. Okay. You have the first idea what you're getting into. Yep. 
Yes, I do. Oh, you Anthony. Is that I should punch you in the face. Hold up. The undertaker to spell it right. Damn. Shut up. Get off me, funny bastard. What'd you say? Who are you running with? She didn't smack him up. She didn't tell me nothing. This rope is cutting into me. Man, shut up. When you're the one tied up, does it? Mm, stupid. What the hell? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. Mm. Shut up, man. Don't talk. All right, all right. Damn it. All right, then shut up, then. Why don't you? Why don't she? It's a nice house, though. I might have to. All right. Here's your man. Bring him get him. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. Come here, man. Show ass off this here house. Punk. Dump his ass right on the fucking ground. Right before him. Here. Yeah, so. so he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. Mm. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. Mm. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a, is a fool's, fool's game. game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. I should do it. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Mm. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat, throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. You History sure about that? It's done. History is never done. Mm. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. I'm gonna spear him. All right, yeah. Get your ass Let's out of here. Yeah. If you try anything stupid, man. Get your ass out of here, man. Matter of fact, let me ransack the house real quick. Hold on. Let me ransack the house. Yo. Better not be in here when I when I walk in. Your blew his ass. Come in. Yeah, I want everything. I want everything. Don't call the cops neither. You try to tell the cops? Yeah, this is grass, homie. You understand that? Yeah, tonics. I love it. I love tonics. Yeah. Ooh, money. Ooh, jewelry. Ooh. Okay, y'all got everything. Man, y'all are just rolling in the dough, huh? I love your house, man. I like what you've done with the place. You understand? What's in here? Open up. Okay, I'm taking everything in here, man. And that nigga better not come back. Because if he does, so it's, it's easy pickings. Mm, revolvers. Nice. Love it. Give me that. Oh, yes. Are those gloves? Bro, I like that. Uh, and you got any clothes? I'm going shopping. I love going shopping in here. This is like Ma the Macy's of the Wild Wild West, man. It's like the Macy's of the Wild Wild West, man. They got everything. I'm taking everything. Cocaine gum. Blew his ass. Yeah, man. You got money? You got money for me, boy? Yeah, you ain't got shit no more. You ain't got nothing no more. Premium cigarettes? I'll take that canned meat. Uh, got apples in here. Oh, that's for the horse. Horse is going to love it. Horsey Porsey? He's going to love it. Yep. Canned salmon. Alright, man. Thanks. Appreciate your business. Actually, no, I'm not done yet. Yeah. Thought I was done, huh? You thought I was done, huh? Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Okay. Alright. Bet. Bet, bet, bet. Alright, we out. Thanks, guys. Pleasure doing business. Come here, horse. I don't know who you is. 
where you from, but I need my real horse back. You're just a piece of shit horse. Yeah, shut up. Piece of shit horse, man. Roads. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, horse. Oh, my real horse, man. This ain't even. This ain't nothing. I mean, what is this? This is plantations and all that. Let me see something here. Um, you know, I'm gonna go to T. Josiah. I don't see nothing wrong, but a little bump and grind. Oh my god, this horse sucks. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, you need stamina, cuz? Yeah, man, damn. You're worthless. Cuz yeah, man. Earthless. My goodness. So we baby Jesus. Just breathe, horse, just breathe. It's not that serious. Just breathe, cuz. Do you win, son? Oops. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Alright, get up. Get up, horse. Stop playing with me. He didn't even say nothing. He just, like, kept going. Lucky I don't shoot you. Uh... Excuse me? I know where I'm at. Do you know where you at? I know where I am. You know where you is? Giddy up. Giddy up. No, you move. You can I'll knock you over. What a bum. I'm not really bonding with this horse like that, man. This ain't mine. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Now leave me alone. Please, thank you. Damn horse, man. Yo, what up, G? Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Smartened up? Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee River boat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. I got money, too. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow I like it. The mighty inbreeder. Thanks, man. We good like this. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Is there any? Oh, the barber. Nice. Hi, G. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. I look fly. Indeed, I might have to keep it's not this. Not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. 
and you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All Why don't you do that? Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. Mm. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Right. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Uh, innocent? Well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, yeah. but we, you, all of us will be done here soon. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Come on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields. And learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Hmm. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. I like this the best, but what about? Make him look like a Prince, sir. I'll just keep it as this. Okay. I like that. All right. Love it. That's how we do it, man. We chilling. Handsome and distinguished. Let's go. Come on, let's get to the box. Thanks, Barber. I've arranged some transportation for us. Oh, did you now? <clears throat> Hope you have a successful evening, this is fire. I'm feeling this mission right George, here. To the ground yeah. Grand Corrigan, <clears throat> sir. Well, this world is so immersive, man. This is a bit much, ain't it? Yeah, it's a Coach. bit ostentatious, man. And flamboyant. Right. Your brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me. No shuffling and mumbling. Money Put to burn. Chest out. Get outside. Money yourself. to burn. Yeah, all right, okay. Think ham. So, who's a mark? Are you all right by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. Money to burn. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe mm. upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Another Don't one. It's like Khaled. Arthur. We're all the authors of our Another good fortune. One. You'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. Hmm. And what money am I playing with? Right. Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. I hope I don't have to play. I can't play this, man. I'm not good at this stuff. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weapon be here. There are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Thanks, man. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes. Yes. Believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Hmm. There they are. Gentlemen, 
How wonderful to see you, Arthur. You remember this pair of boys we met in New York? What's up, G's? Come on, Kevin. Champagne is on dear <laughs> old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Wow. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. I look boy. fly, bro. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. <laughs> Champagne. Sub G's. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. What guns? Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. <sighs> okay. You seem unsure. I've been a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self doubt in me. Right. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Oh god, I hate now this where game. can I get a cocktail? Okay, follow his hand. Are you joining us? Yes. I don't even see, play sir. poker, bro. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Kelly. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. <laughs> Desmond Fly. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Mm -hmm. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint this already. This? Like we this aim to please, one. sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> What am I supposed to do? I don't know how to play cards, bro. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but race calm. Like I said, Mr. Callahan, cowards. All right, we need to get this up to something respectable. Yes, I'll call. How did I end up at this table? I'd have more fun throwing my money overboard. Call, I guess. Now, I'm out. I think I'll wait for this seat to warm up a bit. I thought as much. Maybe uh, you should know. have another drink, Mr. Callahan. Yes, call. Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go, then. Like they expect me to know how to play cards or something? Ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Good like they want me gentlemen. to play poker. I don't I know how to play this. This is stupid. Now, yes, it is. Oh, Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Hmm. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Hmm. Oh, you will. Hmm. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. I got a bet big. Mr. Callahan? Mm hmm. 95. Here goes nothing. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Okay. Interesting. They're cowgirls. Hmm. Shit. Shit. 
Thanks, man. Guess my luck hell. Is that you done? done. I don't even know what Bust. I'm doing. <laughs> All right, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard, well, I heard there was some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. <laughs> Why, I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Ooh. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Really? Okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. I'll go Don't in worry, too. sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Pear cake. Mm. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes, you little beauty. <laughs> Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an <laughs> ace high diamond flush. God damn you! <laughs> no offense. Give me that watch, bitch. Well played, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Unlucky Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion. Desmond the dummy. Where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Yeah, Why let's not? go. <laughs> Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. And open Perhaps the damn door. You could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Right. Thanks, G. Follow me, gentlemen. Right. Follow me, sir. Oh, sorry. Oh. Leave You're me to my. Having quite the night. Leave me to my watch. Thank you. Yeah, so far. I I'm, cannot believe all I do is win, man. Gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. What up, shorty? Let me get a puff of that sweet cheeks. With a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Nice art. Very good. Lawgiver, I love that. <clears throat> Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yo, what's up, shorty? <laughs> I know, I know. No, Negroes is my people, dog. What you talking about? I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Mm. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Mm. Indeed. Look at the view. That's all I can say. Look at the view. Well, here we are. All right, I'm ready. I'm anxious. Let's go. Open it up. Give me everything. He's gonna get knocked out. I can just tell. Just give me one second, sir. Okay, of take, course, take your time. Take your time, G. Safe's open. Take his gun, Arthur. I'll take that. Get your ass out of here, man. Guess you were right. Punk Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> Look in the safe. Ah! Idiot, huh? Fuck out, nigga. Fucking idiot. Nobody heard it. Alright. View in here is looking pretty good. How much, much is there? Must be a Ooh, few nice watch. Plus the watch. Nice. Nothing else? Come on. Let's you blew him. Sure. Thanks for everything, bitches. <laughs> I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. All right, let's go, man. If we're lucky. Can I jump over the water? I mean, what can we do to get out? You got a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. Hurry, hurry. Yo, me and you gotta um, run. How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. Jump over the boat? This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Hmm. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. 
Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Mm -hmm. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! <laughs> I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> oh, look, there's your friend. No, sir, my friend is not a noble chief, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. What happened? Oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> Come on, Roger! I gotta get out of here! Blackout! He well, he's out the game. crazy <laughs> yo that was a wild little mission there we, we made bank though nice suit well off oh, the mug dull moment yeah that's one way of putting it mm -hmm. so how much did we get a lot a few thousand I think where's my car yes indeed and this watch uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss uh, Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it up. Give it back down. Thank you. All right. <laughs> come on. Let's get out of here. This is mine, man. That's how you get out of... That's how you get out of life. I should have set that thing on fire, too. I mean, I set it on fire in other ways, but, you know, that goes. <laughs> no, that goes. Okay, we get money. Where's my horse? Where's my horse? Oh, my horse is over here. We gotta get out of here, horse. I gotta go back home. Because I'm done out here for now. Let's see what we got. Um, There's a question mark. So what I'll do is I'll come back for that. But as of now... Where's my horse? Let me go back to my horse, my baby. And then we're gonna call it quits. Alright, let's go. Come on, dumb horse. <clears throat> dumb horse, that's not mine. What's your goddamn problem? Shut up, man. If I shoot your ass. I'm gonna break you off and make change, cuz. Playing with you. We are out of here, man. We are definitely wreaking havoc in this town. Straight up. Move. What's wrong with you? Move, man. When I say move, when I say move, you move just like that. And I'm gonna go over there and save, guys. You know how it is. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Hey, got body all. Relax, girl. I want my horse back though, you know what I'm saying? Not to betray you you or anything like that. But I want my horse, you know? Is that fair?
Damn, this horse just has no stamina at all. It's trash horse, man. Trash horse. Let's pick up. All right, ladies and gents, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2, man. Man, we gotten pretty far in this game. We're in the big city, we're doing big things. We just played a poker game, won a bunch of money, and robbed the boat. So, there you have it. We'll be back, man. So, if you're new to the channel, man, you know what to do, man. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like this content, because we're gonna be coming with more. And we out of here. Peace.